Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to go over the sequel to Double Impact that we almost got. I'll talk about the proposed plot for the sequel, go over the timeline of events that played out trying to get this thing off the ground, and tell you why it ultimately never happened, so stay tuned. Word first broke out about a sequel to Double Impact in 2010 when Jean-Claude Van Damme and Bolo Young, the two stars from Double Impact, were giving a martial arts demonstration. And the house of the one day, where we could try to put a project together after the fight, Double Impact. Two. The twins will be back a few years later, and Bolo maybe will come back as a friend instead of an enemy. <laughs> as far as the part about Bolo playing a friend and not an enemy, perhaps his character Moon was a twin himself and felt some sort of guilt over what his brother did to Chad and Alex's parents. What'll happen to them? You'll never know. He was a pretty bad guy. I'd feel guilty if my brother did that to someone's parents. I'd, uh, I'd probably want to help them out too. The original Double Impact took place in Hong Kong, Alex's hometown, where we'd see Chad come over from Los Angeles. The proposed sequel would reverse things. It was to take place in LA, and this time, Alex would end up being the fish out of water. Van Damme stated that he wrote the script with a friend of his, Sheldon Ludditch, the guy who directed the original Double Impact and also wrote the original film with Van Damme, which was originally titled The Corsican Brothers. Make sure to check out my video on Double Impact to get more insight to that whole thing. I'll link it in the description below. It's really a love letter of sorts, as Double Impact holds a special place in my heart. In a 2012 interview with MTV while promoting The Expendables 2, here's what Van Damme had to say. I like the two twins. Uh, one is coming back from Asia to LA to help his brother who was a con artist and pretend to be that big Hollywood producer and he's in trouble with the mob in South Central. That was the idea. As far as Chad being a con artist, a big Hollywood producer, presumably making deals, albeit bad ones, it makes sense, as I don't think Alex ever really believed he would have been great at making deals. <sighs> Alex, I think they screwed you. Let me see. Next time, I'll make the deal. <laughs> Look good to me. Speaking of Hollywood elite getting embroiled with the mob, I wonder if Van Damme got any real world inspiration with what happened between Steven Seagal and producer Julius R. Nasso. The two of them worked on several high profile Steven Seagal movies back in the day such as Marked for Death and Out for Justice before things turned sour. According to Mr. Nasso, the bad blood began when Steven Seagal allegedly backed out of a 15 year partnership saying he no longer wanted to play gun toting roles because he had become a Buddhist. One thing led to another, and long story short, this ended up resulting in an attempt at extortion towards Steven Seagal, who told investigators that after he stopped working with his longtime producer, he was ordered into a car in Brooklyn and shuttled to a landmark restaurant where he was threatened by mobsters, who happened to be some higher ups in the Gambino crime family. As far as Double Impact 2 goes, Chad and Alex would be dealing with some California based triad gangsters. The trouble would actually arise after Chad went to Hong Kong to get some loan money while pretending to be Alex. I'm gonna get him! When Alex comes to LA to see Chad, he finds out he's full of crap and also happens to have a girl pregnant who happens to be the sister of the big boss of the Triad Gang. Van Damme described Alex coming to LA as being emblematic of a bull in a china shop after having no choice but to team up with Chad once again and wreak havoc on the Chinese underworld. Van Damme said, Yeah, I would love to be in Double Impact because no, I mean after movies like JCVD and movies like Expendable, my acting improved. So I would like to make a very serious double impact. During promotion for Expendables 2, one of the things Van Damme stressed was lack of franchises in his career. He said, I have no franchises. I lost Bloodsport, Lionheart. Double Impact would be a great franchise. As far as franchises go, I'll do a future video similar to this one about the proposed sequel to Lionheart. But several of his early movies would become franchises, though without his involvement. And they would also suffer in the quality department, in my opinion. What do you guys think of all those kickboxer movies, for example? Part 2, 3, and 4 with Sasha Mitchell, and then 5 with Mark Dacascos. And more recently with Alan Mousset. The cool thing about those newer ones is that Van Damme would at least have a small role in them. And then of course there was a Bloodsport franchise, which would see Daniel Bernhardt take over. I thought Part 2 was okay, and it was nice to see Donald Gibb reprise his role as Jackson. 
But then it pretty much went downhill faster after that. The really bizarre thing is that Daniel Bernhardt played Alex Cardo in part 2 and 3, and then an entirely different character altogether in the next installment, 1999's Bloodsport The Dark Kumite. That made no sense to give it the Bloodsport title, but I guess the producers were just wanting to continue to milk the teat off that franchise, and ended up just tarnishing the brand. If you're like me, I don't even like to acknowledge its existence, though I'm embarrassed to say I do have a copy in my DVD library. And look what they actually... Look what they actually have to say. The most successful action franchise ever delivers its biggest knockout blow. Yeah, they kind of just killed the franchise with this one, but not in the way they intended to. But going back to Double Impact, Van Damme explained how he thinks his twin characters Chad and Alex may have evolved. He said today Chad would be like the guy in JCVD and Alex would be like the guy in The Expendables. I think it'd be really cool if the potential sequel opened like how the first one did with the whole 25 years later title. In a 2015 interview with TheActionElite.com, which I'll link in the description below, Sheldon Lederich said, A sequel to Double Impact is something that John claude and I have been talking about for many years now. We worked out a story and wrote a treatment, which was followed by about 25 pages of screenplay. When asked if he, Sheldon Lederich, thought it would ever happen, he said, There were a lot of logistical problems, mostly issues with who owned the rights. It turned out that MGM owned the most of the rights, which led to negotiations with them about getting those rights so we could move forward with the screenplay play and with getting money raised to shoot the movie. Acquiring the rights from MGM was not going to be cheap and the studio had to be included as a co-partner with any producing entity. This made the process even more difficult and complicated because they also had to be included on the back end if and when the movie ever saw any profit, although they themselves were not willing to put in any money. You can see how this would have sounded like a lousy deal to any financiers who might have been thinking about getting involved. On top of all that, the story was quite ambitious and it would have been an expensive movie to make. Sounds like the kind of bum deal Chad would have made in the actual movie if it did end up happening. No wonder why the triads would have been after him. In 2019, a restored 35mm film version of Double Impact was screened at the Alamo Drafthouse Cinema in Austin, Texas. During a Q&A that followed with fans, Sheldon Lettich reaffirmed the cancellation and said, Perhaps the biggest reason a sequel didn't happen was in fact due to the original film's success. After being sold for distribution around the world, it became difficult for all the different international rights to be worked out for another film. But uh, hopefully the studio will be able to put those people together, but it's almost impossible. The Double Impact will be a great sequel. The aspect of the rights being tied up, that really sucks. It's the fans who lose in the end. Also, the original Double Impact was so well done, you could tell Sheldon Lutch and Van Damme had a great time making it, which resulted in a highly entertaining film. I really think they would have had a really great chance at recapturing that magic once again if only the stars, or rather studios, aligned. So what do you guys think? Are you bummed out we won't be getting Double Impact 2 or Double Impact Squared or Triple Impact or whatever you want to call it? Or do you think it's been too long now anyways and it just wouldn't work? Let me know in the comments below.